He's too cool. But watch out for the stink face. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from the Isle of Samoa. Weighing in at 425 pounds, Rikishi! It's all fun and games right now, but Rikishi can end any opponent mere seconds. Once he gets that look in his eyes, he will squash any man in his path. The thing about Rikishi, guys, is he loves to have fun, right? But he's all business when the bell rings. That's the best part. Once the music stops, Rikishi, one of the most threatening superstars in all of WWE. We are about to see something good. And his opponent from Cameron, North Carolina, weighing in at 225 pounds, the WWE United States Champion, Jeff Harvey. And guys, this looks to be a match with major implications here in WWE. Could change the entire landscape here. Word is that the champ was actually asking for this to be a title match, but the officials backstage wouldn't allow it. That is how competitive he is. The 400 plus pounder Rikishi set for action tonight. Now, Rikishi loves to. Unbelievable athleticism. <laughs> Into the arm bar. Scrams his way out. Watch the quickness on this. Whipped over in a snap suplex. Rikishi back. Oh, kick right to the spine. Oh, oh, oh. Gosh. That's gonna hurt. I don't think Rikishi was having any fun absorbing that blow. Off the rope to the outside, Tope Con Hilo. Risking it all and able to connect like a homing missile. How can an opponent even hope to topple a big man of Rikishi's unique size and physicality? But you gotta try to leverage Rikishi's 400 plus pound frame against him. Attack his lower half constantly. The harder you make it for Rikishi to stay standing, the easier it'll be to take him down to the ground. Slingshot elbow drop. Is it enough here? He narrowly avoids the count. That was a long two count there. Ah, the reversal by Rikishi. Jeez, it couldn't have felt good being chucked around. The sleeper is sent in trouble here. Oh, oh, what a great counter. That'll break it up. Dominating cross body. And into the count. Two count. A kick out to stay alive. He really thought that was it. His match is, of course, just another entry into what has developed into a feud of historic proportions. Few superstars have ever loved each other like these competitors do. It goes beyond competition, beyond normal emotions. And the resulting matches have always been utterly spectacular to watch because of it. Oh, and a headbutt. A Rikishi. Rikishi ready to go. Not done yet. 
The wheels are turning for Rikishi as he ascends up the ropes. Rock shaker from Rikishi. Rikishi got all of it. Two. And he's still in the game. Wait, are we sure that was not a three count? You can't count that high, Saxton, but that was one of the closest near falls you'll ever see. Man, it might be time for a change of strategy. His best move didn't get the job done. Rikishi may have to go back to the drawing board after this one. Rikishi just got outmaneuvered. Even his best dance moves couldn't help him tonight. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the Undisputed WWE Universal Championship. And here he comes, double the gold, double the bragging rights. Holding two titles is the ultimate statement of power. Who could question him at this point? Let there be no doubt this is what domination looks like. And he's at the top of this division. This man will not let either of those titles out of his grasp. A determined look on the face of the double champion. Taking control of his own destiny. This is the newly focused, and some have said revitalized, Baron Corbin. A man who believes he's returned to his roots, who's gone back to basics. Corbin's come out here looking for a fight, and you can believe that's what we're about to get. I'd like to preface this by saying Corey Graves' comments about Baron Corbin are paid for by friends of Corbin. That's inaccurate. Corbin doesn't pay me anything to be his friend.
The one thing you have to do is prevent Rollins from that ruthless assault. You're right, but it's much easier said than done when you consider the multifaceted offensive attack of Seth freaking Rollins. Introducing the challenger from Kansas City, weighing in at 285 pounds, Baron Corbin! And his opponent from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion and the NXT Champion, Seth Freakin' Rollins! There is no prize bigger in this industry. The owner of that title is the alpha of our sport. This is what it's all about tonight. The undisputed WWE Universal Championship. Now we're ready. The combatants are ready. And this one will determine the undisputed WWE Universal Championship. This is about creating your own opportunities and controlling your own destiny. For many, the undisputed WWE Universal Championship is what they strive for. You can't let the opportunity slip through your fingers. the counter. Oh, foot right to the belly. And he scores a reversal on Rollins. Rollins with a reversal. Lined him up. Oh, and a forearm. Able to reverse that one. Finds the advantage after a string of counters. Answer after answer for each other's offense here. And he'll leave the ring for this next stretch. Boom, what impact. Watch out, they're coming towards the announce desk. What the hell are you doing, Byron? The revolution knee finds the mark. It's got to be hard taking on an opponent like Seth freaking Rollins, Corey. Always plotting, always scheming. How about always bending the rules to their limit? But I will concede, as talented a superstar as Rollins is, we've seen those tactics backfire on him. If you can, bide your time and wait for a lapse in Rollins' judgment. But you gotta act fast. From Rollins, oh, the knees! Did you hear that? Vicious right forearm. Setting up neck breaker position. Oh, bang! The challenger not looking good right now. Typical crafty offense from Rollins as this match goes on. A bear hug. Oh, the bear hug. And a way to get out of it is being on display right here. There have been. Oh, and Rollins. Here comes Seth. Swing low. Rollins, the champion. Champ stands tall once again. Here is your winner, and still the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, Seth Freakin' Rollins. Good job by our champion holding on to that title. A pretty impressive defense. Challengers might think twice before coming at him now.
And up and coming talent in the women's division. If you ask Indy Hartwell herself, Cole, she's not up and coming. Indy believes she is already main event worthy. Yo, let's go. Come on, let's go. The following contest is a last woman standing match. Making her way to the ring from Melbourne, Australia, Indy Hartwell. Been successful her entire career from Australia to NXT, now ready to conquer WWE. Yeah, what gives Indy Hartwell that advantage is her incredible strength. She almost always has the size advantage inside the ring. Has already seen so much success in NXT and WWE. Yeah, but Cole, Indy Hartwell is only getting better. Enchanting, bewitching, magnetic. Here she comes. The sinister Scarlet. And from Sin City, Scarlet! Don't judge a book by its cover. Scarlet is second fiddle to no one. And she is just as dangerous in the ring as she is out of it. The time for mind games is over. It's time for Scarlet to cause some physical damage. This is as punishing and grueling a match as you'll ever see. We are going to witness brutality tonight to the likes we have never seen. This is the kind of match where you have to fight fire with fire and go to that dark place you hesitate to admit that you even have. Placed in the corner. Ah, oh, target in the arm. This has got to hurt. Trying to fight with a hurt arm is no easy task. Methodically targeting the arm. Knife edge chop. Uncorks a thunderous chop. She scores big with the counter. Indy denies the attack. <laughs> She's got her where she wants her. a well-placed punch. Oh, that hurt right to the kidney. Golly. <laughs> Continuing to attack the neck. Yeah, oh, draped over the top rope. Quick thinking pays off. Chuck block. Brilliant. Right to the back of the knee. Illegal in many sports, but that was used effectively in there. Suplex. And up the turnbuckles we go. Taking flight. Diving body splash. Ah. 
Sidekick on the mark. Given the no disqualification modifier on this match, Corey, what kind of tactics do you expect to see here? Ruthless tactics, Cole. Now is the time for these superstars to unleash their pent-up aggression and be as violent as they want. There's nothing the ref can do about it, so they should go all out. She heads out of the ring. Interesting strategy. Leaving nothing to chance here with a baseball bat in hand. Across the top rope, all the way to the floor. Indy Hartwell trying to ramp things up. And they're up. Last man standing match continues. Outside of the ring now. What's the plan here? Oh boy. Kendo stick in hand. Nefarious look in her eyes. Standing on the hair. Oh, she fights Scarlet back. These two trading counters, an absolute master class. And we've seen how this rivalry has escalated to the point that no one involved cares about the collateral damage they've caused. Hell, Michael, they don't even care about their own well-being. They just want to destroy and embarrass the other, no matter the price or consequences. And that is what makes this whole situation so scary. Shoulder tackle in the corner. She's taking this outside. This one cannot be lost by count out. Indy keeps her at bay. Reversal from Hartwell. And both athletes showing that they have each other's number. Oh, point of the elbow finds the mark. Uh oh, full Nelson. Indy is ending this fight right there. Two, three, four. Oh, come on, really? It looks like they're not done inflicting punishment. Referee has to break the 10 count now. One, two, and Hartwell's showboating right now. Oh, man, the referee just counted to seven. Staved off that attack. Right hand after right hand. This is ugly. This is turning into an all-out battle. No holding back. We could be here all night with the rate things are going. Boom, boom, persistent barrage. Drop toe hold. And Scarlet is revving this crowd up. And she's up. She's going to keep fighting. She steers clear of that one. Textbook fireman's carry takeover. And this match will continue. Man, there is no quit. for that. And somehow, someway, she breaks the count. Just a tremendous amount of heart on display in this matchup. Come on, what's going on here? Pay attention to your competition. And there's seven. 
It's getting close. Short on clothesline. Not finished just yet. Oh, there's number two. Will the third time be a charm? Oh, is it a fact? Stops the ref's count. Now that is determination. Paying it right back with a reversal. She's into the ring again. Hammerlock. Hammerlock. Reverse DDT. And she's able to get to her feet. You have to admire her perseverance. We might be close to the end. She's been on the bad end of a beating here, and it's starting to show. And there's seven. This is not good. This competitor grabbing hold of the oh, it's on. Delivery of close on, but look at this. Holding on for more. A second close line. And you can only imagine that the trio. And Indy throwing herself into the deep end here by rallying up her opponent. And it looks like they've still got something left in the tank. Is this really it? Taking it to the floor. What's she going to do? She heads into the ring. Count still climbing. We're up to seven now. She's up. She's broken the referee's count. She's still in this fight. Clearly hoping something nefarious is beneath the ring. Oh, man, come on now. Not a sledgehammer. And the momentum's clearly against Scarlett now. If ever a time for Scarlett to let the genie out of the bottle, it's now. And here come the punches. A striking blow. Here we go. Time to work out some aggression. Slugging away with everything they've got. Back and forth. Neither one giving up any ground. The fight is on, and it's furious. Ooh. Two fighters putting their haymakers on autopilot right now. Ooh. This is a war of attrition with neither superstar wanting to be the one who surrenders. To the gut. Oh, brutal form. She's trying to bait her in, but I would not get near her now. That stops the count there. Better settle in for a long night, Saxton. Getting close to 10 here. Now you gotta dig deep. DDT! Indy's in a daze. This could be over soon. Kick to the gut. Set up. Canadian destroyer! Critical danger for Indy.
A little cockiness here from Scarlett. Referee's count has reached seven here. Getting dangerously close to the inevitable. She rises to stop the count. All the way up. Oh, no. Good night. At this point, this is incredibly ill-advised. You're in the middle of a match. Up to seven now. This could be it. Oh, wow. Rendered unconscious. The official has to call it. Here is your winner. And Scarlett standing tall after a win here tonight. Scarlett putting everyone on notice. She is just as lethal as she is beautiful. Shut up, Saxton. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, accompanied by Big E, at a combined weight of 417 pounds, Xavier Woods and Kofi Kingston, the New Day. Three very successful competitors, but even better as a group. Kofi Kingston, a world champion. Big E won Money in the Bank and the WWE title. And let's not forget King Woods. And Corey, all of that success is a testament to the power of positivity. <laughs> La Familia is before us, and they are all business. Came up the hard way, paid their dues, and now reaping success. And their opponents at a combined weight of 472 pounds. Tony D'Angelo and Chani Lorenzo, the D'Angelo family. Their business ventures are booming. 
But Tony and Stax always want more. Yeah, a pair of multiple-time NXT Tag Team Champs look ready to unleash a crime wave on all of WWE. Tony D'Angelo and Stax call WWE their turf, and they are ready for a turf war. The always vibrant and energetic New Day ready to square off here. While they have fun, we've seen New Day have what it takes to win in big time matches. Yeah, Michael, that doesn't mean you should put your guard down when facing the New Day, or you're likely to become vulnerable to their explosive and surprising offense. Actually, Byron, I'm surprised because that's true. There's no telling what new tricks the New Day has packed in their bag for this match. And they're staring at WWE's resident wise guys, Tony D and Stax, the D'Angelo family. While they may have some questionable connections, the D'Angelo family has made it clear that they will do whatever they need to do to make it to the top of WWE, whether by hook or by crook. Cover! Getting the shoulder up before two. A truly impressive kick out this late. Kofi Kingston needs to rally. Such intensity from Stax. Uh oh, jawbreaker! Call the dentist. Big splash. Getting him into the corner. Tag is, good. Tag is made. What's going to happen here? Boom! Off the boot. And now Stax is bleeding profusely, guys. Producing a trampling. Oh, and Stax fights back. Knee finds the abdomen. He's got him down. Is this it? He forces a break before the count of two. Frankly, he should have known that wasn't enough. Look at this, going right after the left arm. Gotta hurt. You can see the intent behind that attack. Exploiting the arm must be the strategy here. Ooh. And now you have to protect that leg from further harm. You can't finish a match on one good leg alone. Looking to take flight here. From the top. Look out below. Just crashing down with high impact. Oh, oof. Oh, across the top rope. He's tagging out. Submit. Oh, what a reversal and counter by him. Placing them right where they want them into the corner. These two battling to a dead heat with these reversals. Here's the pump handle. Suplex. Launched. Oh, my God. And he wants nothing to do with any of that. Just hot shot it to the outside. Ah, oh, that got turned around on D'Angelo. Boom! What a right! Gosh. Ah, oh, setting him up in position here. On the second row. Tornado oh. DDT. Viking. And will this be it? Kick out just in time. Very close. Fatigue clearly set again. Forth from these competitors. Bam! Bring it home! He's feeling the effects of that last hit. Woods creating an opportunity to attack there. Oh, D'Angelo anticipated that. 
This has been building and building between them for so long. Yeah, Saxton, and it's almost impossible to know what will be the final nail in the coffin for this feud. Oh, sit-out slam. Oof. Ooh. What a hot shot. It's all the way to the outside. Ooh, a nasty shot to the throat. Ooh. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Incoming! Lands the splash! Cover! And it's the ref who takes a hit there. Things might be getting a little out of control. He got whipped into that corner. Countered it just in time. Going right after the neck. Neck breaker. Perfectly aimed strike by Woods. Boom, right across the small of the back. This match is brutality starting to show on him. This is what the purpose of a tag team is. Don't be afraid to use the resources and help your partner offers. Am I being diplomatic enough, Cole? Uncork the big... Tag made. Oh, I think something bad is about to happen to their opponent. Down they go. No way Stax can come back from that. And he makes the save for his team. <laughs> Kofi Kingston. How about a little? He's turning the tables. Looking worse for wear in the corner now. Look at this, going right after the left arm. Gotta hurt. These competitors have been going deep into their arsenal all match, but have not found a way to end it at all. Swings in momentum, every push has been cut off. Look out. Oh, pendulum overhead kick. He's in a bad way, guys. He needs to get himself some room to regroup fast. Ah, oh, takedown. And now punches right. Ooh, just relentless. Last step up in Zaguri. He skirts around it. Ah, oh, tag made. To the gut, man. Oh man, just carrying the opposition anywhere they want. Oh, right to shoulders down. Breaks the count. A long two and a half in the waning moments of this match. Kobe got him back. Kobe with the set. the three. How? How? And he saw Kofi coming. Great counter. Boom. What energy in this arena tonight. I'm getting goosebumps. Shifts it back onto him. Precarious position for both superstars. Oh, gosh. Back suplex on the apron. And that assault thwarted Xavier Woods there. These two teams have gone to war, Cole. Of course, they're going to wind up with a few battle scars. Isolating the leg. Leg breaker. Ah, oh, and Stax fights back. Throws the opposition back into the ring. 
Off the springboard. Oh, what a shot. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Face first in the turnbuckle. He's looking a little weary now. Yeah, they've stuck it out through this match, but it wouldn't hurt to go for the tag soon here. Oh, pendulum overhead kick. Close line. Gets the tag. Thrown to the outside. Precarious position for the opposition. Perch on the ropes. Coming next, a back suplex. Oh my God, a close line. Bang! Count out may be imminent here. Really testing fate right now. That's a forearm that'll floor you. I think we're gonna see it! Bloody cross! And able to beat Woods to the punch. Oh God, that hurt. A gifted in-ring technician and a gifted braggart. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Ayr, Scotland, weighing in at 178 pounds. Supernova 11, Noah Dar! 
prides himself on maintaining a veteran mindset because of that vast international experience. Noam Dar began competing at the age of 15 and made his WWE debut at 22. A young veteran, this Scottish Supernova. Yeah, Dar has already done so much in NXT and WWE, but I think his future is even brighter. Gentlemen, the final grain of sand in the hourglass has fallen. There are only two things left for the competition to do tonight. Fall and pray. That's the bell, and here we go. Noam Dar set for action, and we all know you have to be on your toes when you're in the ring with him. Dar has redefined himself as an athlete and competitor, has proven he can get it done in all sorts of ways. Vicious strikes, even more vicious technical feats. Dar is cocky, but he's really been able to back it up more and more as of late. You really can't underestimate a talent like Noam Dar. The chilling image in the other corner is Karrion Cross, who has vowed to smash his adversary through the gates and into the most painful parts of hell. Cross approaches every match with grim determination. He wraps himself around opponents like a giant constrictor and makes people suffer physically and mentally. For a fisherman buster! Answering back! Boasts an impressive physique, but what's the best way for him to utilize that power tonight? Cross needs to mix that strength with ruthless precision. By making targeted attacks, he can use all that muscle to debilitating effect and end his opponent's night quickly. Cross out of harm's way. Boom! And Cross's path to destruction gets put on hold there. Yeah, Noam displaying a high level of aggression. Is it enough? And he easily stops the ref's count. Doesn't bow well if you still can't get more than a one count by now. Rip it at the eyes. I see how it is. Going to take any shortcut to bypass a clean competition. Hey, there's nothing wrong with a shortcut, Saxton. Gotta hurt. Focusing on a body part, picking it apart. The arm's as good of a place to focus as any. Right into a leg lock. 
Goes it out. Here's the cover. Stops the ref count before two. Fighting hard to stay in this match. And he barely evades. Crap in the arms. Oh, what blows. Good grief, man. This is vicious. Showing absolutely no mercy at all. What an onslaught. Uh-oh. Vicious knee drop. Blasted by a forearm. Dar putting something together. Lands face first. Oh, look at a torch of their opponent. Uh-oh, this isn't going to be good. Oh, oh. man. Karrion Cross, Doomsday Saito! How could you not be afraid of Karrion Cross after witnessing terrifying power like that? Guys, truly, I need to know, when will enough be enough? When is this going to end? Wait, 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 wait! Immediately powers out. Wow. To the back of the neck, Scottish Sickle. He's on his heels a bit now. And Hagen tough, but beginning to show some wear and tear. Might want to think about picking up the pace a bit. He heads outside, count outs legal in this match. Dar is channeling the energy of this crowd. He's heading to the floor, but he can't take his time. Uh-oh. He turns it around. Oh! Bat straight into the post on the outside. Ooh, what a move. from having to sit through that. Ooh, a heinous rake to the back. That showed a complete lack of respect for your competition and for our sport. Strikes with a kick. Kick to the gut creates separation. Reversal from Noam Dar. Oh, the European uppercut. Noam Dar really putting the pressure on. Dar holding. Noam Dar position. Looking in Zagiri. Cross is in serious danger. Two. He kicked out at two. Cross is not so easily dispatched. He wants more. He demands it. A new strategy is needed right about now. Couldn't end things. From the top, he paid for that one. Oh, man, big time. Taking a moment to get pumped off of this crowd's incredible energy. Basement drop kick. And an overbearing amount of offense against Cross here. I assure you, Kerry and Cross was not expecting to be in this position. You can't prepare your face for that. And Noam is countered. And Cross is finally chained. And this match is about to fade to black. And he's just in reach of the ropes and gets it to force the break. The ropes become a competitor's best friend in desperate moments like that one. What a counter. Oh, with authority. This guy. 
You get to the ropes, forcing the break. A lot of damage done, but the ropes offer a reprieve. Assailing the joints of the leg. And here comes the cover. Is it enough to... Oh, hey, 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 hey. Feet on the ropes. Thank goodness. Oh, man. Carrying Cross. The final trip. Cross just finished this. That's got to be it. Two. It's over. Brutality finally comes to an end. Here is your winner, Karrion Cross. This has to be a frustrating loss for Noam Dar. Noam Dar is so much better than this loss, and just you wait. He'll shine once again and prove just how good he really is. Johnny Gargano, Tommaso Ciampa. This is DIY. The following contest is scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring at a combined weight of 400 pounds. Tommaso Ciampa and Johnny Gargano, DIY. I've been fortunate enough to call many of the wars these two men have fought side by side and against each other. They are a fun team to watch. Two men who have been the heart and soul of NXT. They brought that same passion to the main roster and have quickly become a top team in the WWE. And we're about to see that passion on display. Here comes Gallus. A group of true Scottish hooligans. And their opponents, accompanied by Wolfgang, at a combined weight of 486 pounds. Mark Coffey and Joe Coffey Gallus. Stepping out of the pub tonight to take care of business. I'm sure they're in a rush to get back there, too. Gentlemen, I have a four-word prediction for tonight. Gallus boys on top.
Tommaso Ciampa and Johnny Gargano teaming up tonight. They have seen trials and tribulations as a team and opponents. I was lucky enough to call their wars in NXT, sometimes as teammates, but just as often as opponents. If they can stay united, they're a tough team to beat. Perhaps the greatest tag team in NXT history. Let's see if that success continues here tonight. Well, if you want hard-hitting, no-nonsense grappling, look no further than Gallus. The Gallus boys are rough and tumble and nothing else in between. I definitely think their idea of fun involves no smiles and a lot of heavy, heavy hits. There he goes, right into the corner. Exploder into the corner, ouch. Clean tag for his partner. Switches it back around. He gets out of the way. These two showing how well scouted they each are. Springboard up. Oh, man. I can't believe someone that big can fly like that. Is it enough here? Oh, my. How in the world did he kick out of that? He's nowhere near ready to stop fighting yet. There's a tag. There's some power behind that punch. Oh, look at this roll up. Pow. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Placed into the corner. Gargano with the snap mare. A single leg drop kick. What a punch! Oh, that startles Johnny. Loading up, full speed ahead. Oh, that's attack in the corner. Tags him in. Fresh man in. Oh, yeah, here we go. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Oh, the elbow connects. Oh. Suplex attempt. Able to go behind, though. Oh, wait a minute. What's the manager doing under the apron? Getting carried. Unsure what they're thinking. There. Oh, great. Rearrange. Oh, no. Crashing hard onto the floor. Brash decision making there proved to be extremely detrimental. Can you recover from such an error? You have to wonder. Oh, God. I don't rearrange your skull. Well, this is a warning to grab our stuff and go. Keep it in the ring, please. Saxton's a very fragile boy. And with an onslaught of strikes like that, it's clear they have nothing but punishment on their mind. Oh, and he's back in, beating the count. He went right into that turnbuckle. The adrenaline is pumping, and the WWE Universe is on his side. Sidewalk slam! Almost drove him through the ring. The opponent. He can end it here. Kick out at one. That's still a quick kick out at this point. Champa avoids damage. Things have really reached critical mass with this rivalry, guys. The best way I can describe the state of things right now is disruptive. They really don't care about how this affects anyone else as long as they can just get their hands on each other. Every ounce of the body is a target. Oh, the double team. What a hip toss. Teamwork making the dream work right here with that display. Forearm after forearm. Vicious attack. I think rage took over in that moment. Nothing but blind rage. Oh. 
Just cranking the head. Snapmare takedown. Oh my, single leg drop kick. Just breaking down the opponent. Tag. Champa's face took the brunt of that and it has busted him open. Am I being diplomatic enough, Cole? Pow! What a shot! Ah, uh, Cobra Clutch! Into a slam! The black card with a counter. Sequence of reversals here. Both superstars clearly studied game tape ahead of time. Ah, oh, had that well scouted. Turnbuckles. Uh -oh. Showing some extra scouting, knowing how to answer a counter with a counter of your own. Turned it into an arm drag. Mark, uh-oh. He thinks he has it. He gets the kick out after the one. If that won't beat him, I'm not sure anything will. No, oh, right in the mat, face first. That certainly wasn't pretty. Makes him pay with a counter. Tag is registered. Yes, tag! All right, Hurricane Rana. Quick exchange, reversing the reversal. Ooh, dropped right on their face. A well-timed dodge. Uh-oh. That didn't go as Joe pictured. He's been placed in the corner now. He avoids the damage. Yeah. Gargano has him up. And launched like a lawn dart into the middle turnbuckle. Here's the cover for the win. And Joe saw it coming. Oh, no. Straight across the top rope. And there's the cover. And a kick out at two. Now, you got to think, he's just one fight blow away from not kicking out next time. Boom, right in the button. Boom, did you hear the impact? And a tag there. Just cranking it out. Cranking the head. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. So much damage inflicted. Here he comes off the tag. Big forearm. Ooh, merciless looking blow. He's absorbing some tough hits now. Yeah, they stuck it out through this match, but it wouldn't hurt to go for the tag soon here. At this juncture, you have to wonder if these superstars can keep up this pace. And this is gonna be it! And he makes the save for his team. Oh, my! No, oh, here we go! That is just pure instinct at this point. Oh, strong impact. Chopper with a well-timed shot. 
jarring impact. Ayo. Pump handle. Quick exchange of counters there. Mark Coffey rips over his opponent with a snap. Marin drops the elbow. Tommaso Ciampa hit hard. Shoulders down. This was a no-frills win for Gallus, just the way they like it. That's about as perfect an example of tag team wrestling you're ever likely to see. The following is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, accompanied by Jinder Mahal at a combined weight of 572 pounds. Veer Mahan and Sunga Indus Sheer. A big time tag team match with major stakes on hand will have major ramifications on the tag division. Time to party with the Prophets. And their opponents at a combined weight. Of 492 pounds, Montez Ford and Angelo Dawkins, the Street Profits. Byron, with the Street Profits out here, I can't even get mad at you. <laughs> All right, Michael, high five. All right, maybe not.
You know, guys, I have an idea. How about we all join the Street Profits, choreograph our own little dance inside the club, man. It'll be lit. That's a great idea, Saxon. Afterward, we can all go play in traffic. There's the bell, and we're about to see the sheer brutality. Linda Sheer. These guys feel they haven't been given the opportunities they deserve. They're here to take what's theirs, and they're doing that with unadulterated aggression. The question is, will their dominance be seen and heard tonight? And I hope they brought their red cups because the Street Profits are bringing the party. Well, as entertaining as they are, Saxton, Dawkins and Ford have made sure their flash doesn't outshine their abilities. For every ounce of swagger they have, they have twice the talent. Oh, across the top rope. Oh, dear. This doesn't look good. That's a free fall. Oh, my goodness. Dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. Tag is made. Elbow after elbow after elbow. Beat down in the corner. Practically never-ending blows. Coming at full force here. Drew kick. kick hits the mark. And he goes for the pin. Gets the shoulder up in one. He is certainly sending a message, getting his shoulder up before two. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Go oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. He's looking a little off balance. Yeah, as the Street Profits' particular brand of intensity was showing through there. Into the corner now. Dismantling the arm in the corner. Gotta hurt. That arm's gonna be sore for a while. Could affect all their offense. Able to capitalize on Ford's mistake. Close line. Good Lord. So effective. What's coming next? Taking their time. He is getting rid of the turnbuckle pad. Don't say that too long, Saxony might get caught. Tag made, fresh man in. Dodges out of the way. Torturous focus on the leg. Punishing the leg. Pain must be shooting through that leg now. Assistance. Very effective. Having a weakened arm can limit you in so many ways, making it harder to execute on even simple attacks. Reversal after reversal. These two are ready for each other. And he sends him into the corner. Uh-oh. Gets him with the counter. Booing go quickly. The cover. LH's shoulder ahead of the count. He is still very much in this. 
One step ahead of Bear there. Oh my goodness, dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. That's disrespectful. He's lost some of his win now. And that is Dawkins' intensity starting to ratchet up. All the way up for a suplex. No, 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 no. Wiggles free. Escapes and a chop block takes him down. And it looks like Veer might be bleeding now. He's in off the tag. Oh, God, what an elbow. He's going to the pin. This could be it. And to the pay window. A defiant kick out after one. Wow, I thought this was over. Tag switching it up. Punch right in the head. Angelo toying with his opponent a little bit. Oh! This incredibly bitter feud might just be near its breaking point. Well, I think we're well past breaking points. They're frankly obsessed with the idea of defeating each other. Yeah, there's a single-minded focus to the action in the ring. This is war. Knew what was coming there. Dawkins with the reversal. Feeling it now. This fight is pumping him up. Elbow to the heart. Tagging his partner in now. Oh man, he has fired up now. Set up in the corner of the ring. Wicked clothesline. Just one step ahead. Whatever's playing here can't be good. Oh, snake eyes caving in their face. He may be in a bad way here. These two teams have gone to war, Cole. Of course they're going to wind up with a few battle scars. Bam! Lifts their opponent's oh. legs and... Oh. into that corner. Trapped in the corner on oh, multiple punches. That was not stop blows. This is just establishing dominance followed by the stomp. Tag made, tandem offense on the horizon here. Set up for a sidewalk, slam, dropping the elbow. Veer might have this wrapped up. For the win! Oh! Come on, ref, get some control. Shut up, Byron. Oh. 
hoisting their opponent up. Look out! Snake eyes! Tossed around like a rag doll. He may get the three count right here. This is it. Kicking out in time. What a match. Sanga feeling the energy. The energy from this crowd. I don't know if this is a show of confidence or a wasted opportunity to attack your opponent. He made the tag. Cooking with gas now. a career-altering moment for these superstars, guys. But the spoils will only go to the victor, and I have a feeling we're close to finding out exactly who that will be. Tag made. Tag made. Oh! Gets the tag. We scared the daylights out of him. Pinpointing the leg. Now punishing the leg. Oh, what a close line. Forcefully delivered. Standing moonsault. There's the tag. These two superstars playing a double team maneuver. Revelation. And Mahan is laid out. And he stops the count for his partner. Heading up, he's thinking big. Up high. Oh! Look at this crowd. It's insanity in here. Bedlam. Talk about dismantling your opponent. And Veer landing another big hit in the late stages. I think Dawkins is realizing the toll this match has taken on him. Oh, converts that attack into a vicious bulldog. The arm absorbing the damage. Uh-oh. Caught an elbow to the gut for that effort. Into the corner. This can't be good. Oh, that got turned around on Dawkins. Ooh. Boom! What a right! With the reversal! Uh-oh, this is not going to look pretty. Submission being applied. Abdominal stretch. Fighting it out. That's one way to get out of it. Stop dead in their tracks. No doubt, Sangha ended this. Oh, he was almost finished. I truly thought it was all over there. Talk about resilience. Yeah, but did you see how the referee had to get into position? That was all the difference. I can see it in the eyes from here. Disbelief. Unbelievable how this one is still going on. A tag. Uh, tag made. Double team coming. What do they got planned here? Up to the top rope. This is going to be nasty. Blockbuster. And that's going to keep Saga off balance. Dawkins with an outstanding surge at exactly the right time. The fact that these superstars can still be moving at this point is beyond the realm of reality. Yeah. Oh. Jeez, and Saga was opened up there. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Up in the ante right here. Look at the ups. Come with me. One oh. quick C. <laughs> nice counter from Sanga. Sanga sets it up. Uh-oh. Backfire into a DDT. Massive. 
countered with the knee to the face. Drop kick hits hard, lands harder. This man is invincible. Dragunov's a man who struggles to keep his rage in check, but when Dragunov loses it, let's be honest, it's a lot of fun to watch. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring. From Moscow, Russia, weighing in at 187 pounds, Ilya Dragunov. This dude is downright explosive, like a lit stick of dynamite with a very short fuse. Carmelo says he won't stop until he's number one in this industry. But this superstar stands in his way tonight. Swagger on another level. Here comes Melo from Boston, Massachusetts, weighing in at 210 pounds. Carmelo Hayes. I hate to pair a catchphrase, but Melo really is money. Multiple title reigns and main events to his name already. And this guy is destined to continue that success in all of WWE.
Tonight might just be Carmelo Hayes' next big victory. Ilya Dragunov. Now, this young man says that pain makes him feel alive. He comes to the ring prepared to receive just as much damage as he doles out to his competition. Yeah, there's Relentless, and then there's Dragunov. He doesn't care what toll this match takes on his or his opponent's body, just as long as he comes out on top. A man driven by a relentless fury who attacks without hesitation. Ilya Dragunov is ready to fight here tonight. Let's not undersell the talent and threat of a superstar like Carmelo Hayes. A man who knows just how good he is and isn't afraid to let everyone know. You can't take his shine, and he's going to show just why in this one. Shine showboating, a talented competitor for sure, but he also wants everyone to know just how much more talented he is than them. Hopefully, he just focuses on the match. Oh, what a four! Hooked up, and DDT! Crashing down with the senton. Ah, oh, saw it coming. He leaves the ring, but he could lose this match by count out. Suplex. And Hayes' confidence perhaps just got a little shaken. And that right there is the intensity of Ilya Dragunov at work. It's the red, white, and blue thunderbomb. Taking the fight near our announce table. I really hope we get these desks at a discount. And he gets delivered back into the ring. Out of the ring, what's his plan here? And the confidence and... Perfect time to attack when his guard is down. Big back, cover, cover! And a kick out at two. He thought he had it. Crafty way to get out of harm there. Sharp elbows to the body, looking to fight his way out. The ultimate sign of disrespect. Carmelo now trying to capitalize. Drop kick on target. Take down, whatever the cross face, it cinched it. We're gonna free the arm and does just that. Finds room and lands a jawbreaker. Guys, I have to admit, it's really hard to watch when a rivalry goes from competition to something more personal and sinister. Yeah, this is not about winning or losing anymore. This is all about destroying each other, no matter the cost, no matter the casualties. Someone could get really hurt, guys. Oh, saw it coming and got an elbow for their trouble. Nasty stop to finish it off. Now oh, trampling the opposition. Oh, right in there. He steers clear of contact. Good golly! Caught by surprise with that clothesline. He thinks he has it. Gets his shoulder up before the two count. Kicking out there really has to make his opponent question his game plan. Then slamming their face down. And Hayes is in command. Evia has to trust his instincts at this point. Into the pin attempt. Two. What? Oh, he kicked out. We'll see if this is the start of a rally. Oh, not what Hayes intended. Momentum going back to Ilya. Torpedo Moscow! That might have knocked Hayes out for good. For the win! Two count! That will end it. Here is your winner, Ilya Dragunov! Ilya 
Dragunov comes up with the win. Carmelo Hayes just couldn't fight his way back into this one. We know shooters shoot and Melo's got game, but this is not how he planned this to go down. A group to be feared, the Judgment Day. Yeah, a ruthless, cutthroat collective. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the World Tag Team Championship. Introducing the challengers at a combined weight of 439 pounds. The SmackDown Tag Team Champions and the NXT Tag Team Champions, Finn Balor and Damian Priest, The Judgment Day. A unified front of highly decorated, highly skilled, highly dangerous competitors. When united, they are truly lethal. And they consider themselves inevitable, as if nobody can stop them. Nobody has so far. Things are about to get just too sweet. The OC is here and ready to have each other's backs. And introducing the challengers at a combined weight of 505 pounds. Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson, the OC. We all know the OC loves to have a good time, but the one thing they might love even more is getting into a good old fashioned fight. Yeah, they brawled all over the world and sometimes with each other. The OC never sleeps on a good fight. The OC commands respect wherever they go, and their opponents had better be ready to show it. Certainly earn the respect, and they'll take it from anyone who won't give it willingly. The goal is obtaining those tag team championships. Being on the same page will be vital in this one. Here we go with the Judgment Day in the ring. This group causes chaos and destruction wherever they go, all in the pursuit of amassing as much power as they can. Judgment Day is a legitimate threat to anyone in WWE. Here's the pin title on the line. Finn Balor finds a way to stay in there. 
finish. Close call. That was almost lights out. Kick to the gut. Cranks around into a neck breaker. He's been placed in the corner now. Oh. Short arm Larry. And Finn heads him off at the pass. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Finn gets stopped in his tracks. Look at this straight. Incredible power slam. Knees up, got the knees up at the last second. Had that one scouted. Hoist it up. some damage. He reverses it. And Gallows reverses. Saw it coming and got out of there. Oh! Riven down. Here's the pin title on the line. Here we go. Just end this now. Some shock in the arena after that kick out. Getting set up for something in the corner. And he finds an answer for Gallows. Solely focused on. Ooh. Another immense display of power to shut up the non-believers. Imperium has arrived. A united group with one unwavering mission to prove that the mat is sacred. The following is a six-man tag team match. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight, of 737 pounds. Ludwig Kaiser, Giovanni Vinci, and Gunter Imperia. 
Well, Imperium clearly are not here to have fun, but you have to respect their mission statement of the mat being sacred. Oh, I do, but I've seen your matches, Saxton, and you do not respect their mission statement. Have you seen my matches? I definitely consider the match sacred. Oh, my gosh. He's undefeated. Look at that formation. Completely in sync like a finely tuned watch. Three men born and bred to throw down. And their opponents at a combined weight of 725 pounds. The Celtic Warriors, Sheamus, Ridge Holland, and Butch, the Brawling Brutes. That smash mouth, in your face style, that's what the Brutes are all about. What they do in that ring is a typical Saturday night at the pub. So that should give you an idea of the kind of dudes the Brutes are. The Brutes look more than ready to compete. Corey, what's your analysis? Banger. And ladies and gentlemen, it's time for a little tag team warfare. Action underway now as we have Giovanni Vinci, Ludwig Kaiser, and Guther. And across the ring, the team they're ready to face off with. Rich Holland, Butch, and Sheamus. These teams have scouted each other very well. They've probably identified the weak link in their opposition. Likely going to want to isolate and punish that single individual. That attack was definitely pre-calculated, hoping to greatly diminish the power in that arm. Devastating elbow. He foiled that attempt. And did you hear the impact of that? Into the corner he goes, a perfectly placed target. Belly to belly, way overhead. He could do it here. Only a one count before the kick out. Channeling his energy to stay in this matchup. Clearly waiting for that. Submission on the way. It's in. Figure four leg lock. Oh, look at this. He's trying to turn it. He does. Turns the pressure. Front face lock applied into an airplane spin. That's incredible. What a heck of a ride. If they weren't dazed and confused before, they are now. Oh. The cover. He gets the shoulder up in two. Not yet. And Corey, how do you account for the extra variables in a six man tag? Trust. Even the most long standing trios have an odd man out. Regardless, you need to push the doubt aside. Trust both of your partners and put them in a position to do what they do best. And sent right into the corner.
And that stops whatever Kaiser intended. Nothing fancy here, just raw power. Can he do it here? It's still hanging on. He's determined to keep this matchup going. And he sends him into the corner. Whatever you can do, I can do better. Counters on top of counters. Setting up for something here. Driven down face first. Oof. That one busted up Ridge. Oh, look at it grind the features off their face. Uh, right across that top row. There was no issue with that attack. Hey, sometimes desperate times call for desperate measures. Who are we to judge? Close line. So effective. Holland able to evade. Oh, what a drop kick. On the mark. Oh, pressing their foot right into the gut. That's got to hurt. He is just reeling from that offense. Yeah, it wouldn't hurt for you to try for the tag right about now. Looking for the suplex all the way up. Look at this power. Oh, no. Into a chop block. Placing them into the corner. Jeez. Big impact off the neck breaker. He just barely dodges. That's a hold of the arm, a chop for good measure. Not done yet. What agility. Nice arm drag. Reaches his partner for the tag. Just mounted with punches and not in a will it be? He kicks out at two. Both competitors digging deep into their well to keep this match going. Oh, it is aggression, just oh, pure brutality. Come on, easy. He went right into that turnbuckle. Uh-oh. He deflects it right back. Wait for it. Boom! Alabama slam. High cross body. Cover. Two. Stopping the refs count at two. What do you have to do to put this guy away? Ludwig starting to get the crowd involved. Able to get there in time. Oh, oh, there's a submission on the way. It's in. Figure four leg lock. Oh, look at this. He's trying to turn it. He does. Turns the pressure. Two. He right to the midsection. Uh-oh. Control here. Face full of turnbuckle. Barry tearing at the face. God, ugly but effective counter. Foot to the face. What a cross body. Cover. And a kick out of only one. These one counts are going to get harder and harder to kick out of. Wrenching the arm. Driven all the way down for a European arm breaker. Oh, my God, a clothesline. 
Sheamus looked like he may have been the one to receive some lumps there. Yeah, Giovanni delivering the pain. Well scattered reversal there. chest of their opponent. This is brutal. Look at this going right after the left arm. Gotta hurt. Oh, golly. Devastating teamwork. Both arms captured, and vitriolic stops. Uncorks another one. Punch lands. Uh-oh. Half and half suplex. Lights out. Getting him into the corner. Dominant display. Look at this power slam. I don't know how these men keep going. They gotta be close to running on empty by now. Boom. Oh, look at this. Out to the apron. Oh, my goodness. Are you kidding me? Oh, the apron. The hardest part of the ring. And she with the pump handle, Olympic slam. Giovanni looking like he means business right now. I wouldn't want to mess with him. Ooh. And Vinci gets that set right back. What an amazing six-man tag match. Here are your winners. Ludwig Kaiser, Giovanni Vinci, and Gunter Imperia. Rules are rules, and the referee deemed this one a countout. Not the win they wanted, but it's a win nonetheless.
The Viper is ready. The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall. Introducing first from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 245 pounds, Randy Orton. A chill is in the air. The cold, calculated nature of Randy Orton is about to be on display. The Viper is a superstar who does not play well with others. Evil intentions in mind tonight, I can guarantee you that. Yeah, Orton always knows when to strike and when to strike first. Every generation, someone comes along who's simply so much better than everyone else. They just make it look easy. Randy Orton is that someone. He was born into greatness. Cody Rhodes is here, dashing no more. Look away, he's hideous. And his partner from Marietta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, Cody Rhodes. Ugh, just look at this disfigured monster. Oh, come on, Corey. You can see plain as day under that mask. Nothing's changed. I see pure ugliness. Nothing could be worse than this. Maybe a mustache? <laughs> well, Cody is about to take out his aggression, and he says it's going to be ugly. Well, if anyone knows ugly, it's Cody Rhodes. Mr. Two Titles has arrived. And from Preston, England, weighing in at 246 pounds, the Worldwide Wrestling Heavyweight Champion and the WWE Intercontinental Champion, Wade Barrett. When you're a champion, you have challengers and threats coming at you from all angles. When you're a double champion, well, I'd consider sleeping with one eye open, just in case. I'm sure he's already doing that, Corey. Keeping his head on a swivel. You know he's going to be fighting for it all in this match. Yeah, he's made it clear he is dead set on remaining on top of the mountain with those two titles. One of the most spectacular young luchadors around. From Tijuana, Mexico, weighing in at 175 pounds, Ray Mysterio Jr. You know, multi-time WCW Cruiserweight Champion, 
Remember the time he put his mask on the line against Eddie Guerrero and won? Rey Mysterio Jr. proved he was willing to bet on himself and succeeded in the process. Each time this man steps in the ring, he leaves the audience jaws on the floor. And the bell is rung, getting this tag match started. When you think of tag teams that are itching to make an impact on tonight's event, you don't have to look any further than these two. Two teams with a desire to steal the show. He turns it around. Put into the corner now. He gets tagged in. There's a wheelbarrow. And shoulders are down. And it's Randy Orton able to stop the count. Not getting a two count at this point has to be frustrating. That's mounted with punches and not hit him. He can do it here. And he kicks out in two. The end was in sight. Close line. Off with their head. to the back of the neck. Oh, that gets reversed on Randy. Fought back with a punch to the gut. Perhaps thinking about what to do next here. <laughs> Just bounce that face like a basketball. Ah, oh, what a smash. That is just insulting. He's taking some good hits. Yeah, Orton came prepared for this matchup. Tag is made, and he's coming in hot. There he goes, right into the corner. Oh, what an uppercut. You can see the dominance on display by Orton. And Orton's turned the match in his favor. Knee right to the midsection. The Viper able to strike back. Oh my goodness! Ah, oh, what a smash! That is just insulting. Being carried around with ease. Oh, put down face first. Talking trash. Forearms to the face. The audacity! Nothing was being held back with each of those strikes. That's all him. And a big boot! Oh, oh, man. Oh, man. Right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. In off the tag. Well framed standing moonsault. Goes into the pin. Strong kick out, but you have to wonder if he can keep it up. There's a wheelbarrow. Attacking the arm. Great way to break down your opponent. Oh, down by the DDT. How's that for a counter? Pulls their opponent in. Belly to belly. That could be it. the shoulder up before two. And those kickouts are only going to get harder. And he's able to reverse. Uh-oh. Elbow drop. Tag made. Fresh man in. Uh-oh. Uh able to evade. Response after another back and forth we go. Place 
position them right where they want them, into the corner. Ooh. Oh, it really just countered. Oh, what a strike to the back. Vicious right forearm. What started out a few short weeks ago with a few choice words has turned into an all-out blood feud between them. This is a level of aggression that few take it to, but when they do, it's all-out war. Counter from Rhodes. Tagged in. Mysterio Jr. is really playing it up for the WWE Universe. Tag is made, and here we go. Just a debilitating neckbreaker. Oof. Ah, oh, flipping the script on him there. Swanton. Scooped up. What are we looking for here? Fallaway slam! He's struggling a bit here. Yeah, they've stuck it out through this match, but it wouldn't hurt to go for the tag soon here. He went right into that turnbuckle. Yeah. Orton with an exploder suplex. Oh! From behind. Suplex. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Dribbling the opponent. And the cover for the win. Breaks the close count. I am in shock. What's it going to take to keep this guy down? Measuring. Oh, face stop. He's in off the tag. He saw it coming. He's in for it now. Lights out. DDT connects. Cody clearly not the only one with something to prove in this fight. Yeah, Ray delivering the pain. Uh-oh. Mysterio's attack gets reversed. Just end this now. Oh, he's playing possum! Kicks out before one. How'd he do that? Rolling next snap. Brutal. And Ray capitalizes there. Check out Ray's face after that. Oh, look at this ruthlessness in the bottom turnbuckle. And he's a... He can end it here! He's got him! Ah, oh, finally, monumental victory! Here are your winners. The team of Randy Orton and Cody. Making their case for one of the best teams around with that win. No frills, no gimmicks, just old school tag team excellence to get the victory.
One of the biggest things to happen to the women's division, literally. The following is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from Rio Grande Valley, Texas, Raquel Rodriguez. Think about the incredible resume of Raquel Rodriguez. In her first three years, she's been an NXT Women's Tag Team Champion, a Dusty Rhodes Classic winner, an NXT Women's Champion, and a WWE Women's Tag Team Champion. And from Yorktown Heights, New York, Mandy Rose. Ever since I took my spot here at the commentary table, I have wanted to call this match. I cannot wait to finally do it. Well, she wanted a fight, she got one. Raquel Rodriguez is a pure powerhouse and will take this woman to her limits. The bell rings, and just look at Raquel Rodriguez, a towering figure in the women's division with fire in her eyes. And don't forget, an ability to completely bulldoze the competition, Cole. Insane power, unreal agility. There's a reason Raquel's able to just lay people out. Absolutely, Corey. Raquel Rodriguez is the real deal. But she will be dealing with a woman that has cruel intentions every time she steps into the ring. A woman who does not have the word empathy in her vocabulary. Oh, there's a response against Raquel. Rodriguez shows the wherewithal. Bang! Oh man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. These two going strike for strike, it seems. Neither competitor is backing down. Two Titans trading strikes and refusing to back down. You have to think defeating someone as strong as Raquel Rodriguez is a tall order, right, Corey? Absolutely, but what Raquel possesses in strength, she lacks in experience. You might not be able to overpower her, but you can outsmart her. Exploit Raquel's inexperience, and you'll bring her down. Made her pay for her mistake. Just a dominant display! My goodness! the airplane spin off a front face lock. That's incredible. Great way to put your opponent on spaghetti legs moving forward. Big form. Oh, that clothesline hurt. Holding on for more. In a second. They say the third time's the charm. Will that be the case? Big clotheslines. Hoisted up across the shoulders into the torture rack submission. Neck breaker. Into the pit attempt. Somehow, some way. Hit drop. I've been waiting to see that. Planning on what to do next. Impressive display of power. I don't think people realize the amount of strength it takes to hurl someone like that. 
And a slap for the exclamation point. Just never had a chance to block any of those. Oh, my God. She's showing signs of slowing now. And this match is not over yet. Things are only going to get harder from here. We've seen a lot of contentious rivalries here in WWE over the years, but this is really starting to go over the edge. I'm sure they're not thinking about it right now, but this rivalry is going to cause them to live on in infamy. The things they're doing to each other, to anyone who dares stand in their way. This is only getting worse. I didn't think it'd be possible for it to escalate even more, but boy, was I wrong. <laughs> Another counter. And finds a counter. Uh-oh. Rodriguez with a nice turnaround. believing and Raquel is making a believer out of all of us right now after a kick out like that and that result leaves everyone shocked when will the shoulder come up if that move hits one more time what more can any of these women do in this scenario you have to squeeze every last ounce out of whatever gas she had left in the tank and that was an efficient display of offense with that maneuver the core buster Rodriguez staggers up, but might be put back down for good. Butterfly double underhook up and down face first. Find the nearest exit. It's over. She did it. She picked up the victory. Here is your winner, man. Raquel Rodriguez simply couldn't secure the victory. But if there's anyone in the women's division who knows how to handle a setback, it's Raquel Rodriguez. Yeah, luck hasn't historically been on her side, but Raquel always makes the best out of a bad situation. Champion versus champion contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE United States Championship. Oh boy, look who's here. The Phenom has arrived. And demise awaits anyone who stands across the ring from the dead man. The Reaper walks among us.
Long, harrowing walk to the ring by the Phenom. The personification of evil. Such an ominous and chilling aura when The Undertaker comes to town. This is always his stage. It's always his yard. And if you're his opponent, you know the end is near. You know, Undertaker is a time-honored warrior of the ring. No matter what you do, I'm not sure there's anything that prepares you for The Undertaker. So many superstars have stood across the ring from the dead man, paralyzed with fear. Abandon all hope. The dead man has risen. Ladies and gentlemen, when you think of WWE, you think of John Cena. Loved by many, resented by some, but respected by all. Seen as a guy who achieved success beyond anybody's wildest imagination. From his in-ring career to Hollywood to charity work, John Cena has left a tangible impact on people's lives. Now he's about to leave a tangible mark on his opponent, too. Introducing the challenger from Death Valley, weighing in at 299 pounds, the WWE Champion, The Undertaker! And his opponent, from West Newberry, Massachusetts, weighing in at 251 pounds, the WWE United States Champion, John Cena! Looking at the champion, I guarantee there is no doubt in their mind as to who is leaving this match with the title around their waist. Undertaker, a superstar that has terrified the WWE locker room and universe since his debut. From the way he seemingly glides down the ramp, to his size, to his incredible athleticism, everything about the dead man is unnerving. Yes, yeah, not just one spine-chilling thing about Taker, it's everything. But don't even think about counting out Big Match John for even a second, Cole. We are officially in Cena's element here. When the lights are bright and the crowd is chanting his name, there ain't no one better. Yeah, Cena has pretty much defied larger than life in WWE for decades at this point. Nice running crossbody. I know John Cena is an incredibly brave man. The Undertaker can strike fear into any man's heart. 
Getting intimidated by the Phenom's supernatural abilities is something Cena's going to have to look out for in this match. That's true, Corey. But The Undertaker probably knows he can't rely on the same tried and true intimidation tactics against Big Match John. Cena's seen and done it all, so the Dead Man will need to unleash some new supernatural tricks to succeed tonight. Turns that back on Cena. Dominating shoulder tackle. Great open. This one's all but over. Bam! Oh, somehow! Showing his determination there with that kick out. Crucial turnaround there because Cena was falling behind. But Cena still has to do more to get this fully in his favor. Undertaker needs to head this assault off at the pass. Cena's doing whatever it takes to overwhelm Taker. He's able to fend off the attack. Talk about dismantling your opponent. Looks like Cena might not have his head fully in the match at this moment, guys. Boom! Uh-oh, hazardous part of town here on the apron! Oh, a back suplex right onto the apron! There is nothing but malicious intent when you deal damage out on the apron. Tossing their opponent like they're nothing. It wasn't the height or distance that caused the damage, but they certainly contributed. Look, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. These competitors despise each other. Think about how much things have escalated in this one. This is about so much more than a professional rivalry at this point, gentlemen. Yeah, this is far removed from wins and losses. This is about WWE not being big enough for the both of them. And now thrown back into the ring. coming. The Undertaker. Oh, we've seen this so many times before. And a longer way down. Last ride. What goes up must come down, and it sure as hell did right there. At this point in the match, that could have gone either way. Undertaker is going up top. Take off. What impact. And now I see some blood on the face of Cena. Unrelenting attacks from the Undertaker. Undertaker. Oh, what? Uh oh. Fires back with a crucial elbow. He might be able to start mounting. Cena. Look at this power. Onto his shoulders. Attitude adjustment. The title's going nowhere. Kiss your dreams. Good night. Simply refusing to let this opportunity. Slip away. And who knows if there'll be another shot. Yet you can't give up now. And Cena has to hammer. Launching. Bullseye. Showing out their deadlifting prowess and just tossing their opponent like they're nothing. Uh oh. Look at this. She just tossed the leg. Leg drop. From the middle rope. Oh, what a splash. Pin attempt for the championship. Undertaker's championship can do all the talking. Here is your winner, and new WWE United States Champion, The Undertaker. What a shift into the tides with this championship match. This is the kind of moment you dream about as a competitor.
Bravo to him. The following champion versus champion contest is a last woman standing match. And it's for the WWE Women's World Championship. She is a woman who is here to take control. Bailey carries herself with such confidence. Yeah, more like arrogance. Always yelling about how great she is. Yeah, and it's usually me that she's yelling at. Oh, Cole, she's simply speaking her truth. Bailey knows how good she is and acts appropriately. Everybody's excited for Bailey to compete here tonight. Well, except for Cole. I love seeing her compete. I just can't stand it when she talks. The double champion is here, flashing her gold collection. She is the personification of success. And right now, she's showing the crowns that she's earned. This is indeed a historic achievement. A woman, two championships, it's absolutely incredible. Think of what her accomplishment means to girls everywhere. Female competitors are even more inspired by seeing her with two titles. Just an amazing accomplishment. With the women's division being so fierce, double titles means double the list of challengers gunning for her. Introducing the challenger from San Jose, California, the NXT Women's Champion, Bailey. And her opponent from Adelaide, Australia, the WWE Women's World Champion and the NXT UK Women's Champion, Rhea.
This is what these competitors have worked so hard for. The Women's World Championship in the balance. And here we go, these women ready to push themselves further than ever before, all in the name of being the women's world champion. Each woman is more than happy to mix it up and go places she's never been in order to leave here with the gold. Well, this looks like it's gonna be another certified banger. An elusive Bailey there. One reversal after another. These two are reading each other's minds. Back suplex, oh no, face buster. Big forearm, vicious, downright savage club right there. Big boot. With no count outs, there's nothing keeping her inside the ring. I can't believe she's resorting to a sledgehammer. I thought she was better than that. Turnbuckle's the only thing keeping her upright. Bailey now. Oh, nice exploder suplex in the corner. Rhea capitalizes there. Oh, and a knee. And another. Just endless knee strikes. You can see that each strike drained their opponent's energy. Vicious, aggressive attacks. And the champ now having to deal with a relentless strike. Uh oh, Borg going to cut off the wing. Geet. say you have to be innovative in this kind of match, but Byron, explain what can happen if that backfires. Well, you have to be careful because if you take too great of a chance, you could miss and take yourself right out of the match. It's a difficult decision either to take the chance where you could win the match or crash and burn. Guess she was looking for her old pal named Kendo under there. Muscled out all the way to the outside. Look out! Incredible! It's like a heat-seeking missile coming at you. And the explosion occurring ringside. Rhea Ripley showing off her outrageous power. Electric. Oh! Devastating face buster. That attack showed absolutely no care for the well-being of Ripley's opponent. This is Rhea's unique form of brutality. A little psychological warfare at play here from the Nightmare. She's getting herself in the zone, but she shouldn't hesitate much longer. Not over yet. Oh, fuck that. Gosh, landing face first. Rhea looking to end this one right now. This will do it. The prism trap is applied. Well, this won't win the match, but it's one way. And for some reason, she lets go of the hold. Could have just been a tease of the potential agony that's yet to come. She's just begging her to come at her now. That's seven. We may be getting to the end. She's up. She's broken the referee's count. She's still in this fight. Oh, she got out of there. Dodges the attack just a smidge quicker. Rhea Ripley gearing up for brutality. At this point, this is incredibly ill-advised. You're in the middle of a match. That's seven. We may be getting to the end. And this count will stop. This is either grit, insanity, or a little bit of both. She had it scouted. Matt slam with some attitude. The champ getting put on the back foot here. Almost seems like Bailey is mocking her opponent, trying to get under their skin. And Bailey 
never saw that coming. Oh. Oh, man, drop kick. A little call and response from the nightmare to the WWE Universe. A count of seven. Is this really it? Ripley not backing down and letting her know it. She slips outside. What has she got in mind? He's got that back, and I don't think she's hitting dingers. Close line. Good lord. So effective. We <laughs> have. Up into the electric chair. It's a long way down from here. But countered with a poison runner. Come on, the referee was counting. And an elbow drop for added measure. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. Oh, from behind. That'll give you some whiplash. The effects of this match are showing on the champ. That's the sort of offense that makes Bailey so dangerous. Bailey is really displaying aggression here. Bailey is determined right now. Insulting. And now she's climbing. It. Bailey for the pie. Boom! Wow. Personality aside, you got to respect Bailey's abilities. She's ready to make some more history. This is not good. Bailey. Cross plant by Bailey. The title's in jeopardy here. I think the paradigm has shifted. Cloud 9 right now. She came here with one goal in mind.